Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This one is on the Spirograph effect. It's that little plastic thing that you used to play with when you were a kid. And you whiz the pen round and round in circles and you end up with a nice pattern. So my artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high. And we're going to start off with a white stroke. So mine's preset because I've just done the background. So let me click on the stroke here and click white. And the stroke weight is going to be about three pixels. Uh, if you can't see any of these tools, then just go up to Windows, press pause, and tick all the ones that I've got ticked. Also, it's handy if you can see your smart guides as well and snap to point. So let's get started. Navigate up here, you could see the rectangle tool, you could see the rounded tool, depends what you've been in. You want the star tool. So just click anywhere on the desktop and you'll see points. You want that to be number four. Radius doesn't matter, four is important. Click OK. So that draws as a star. Now, if you press A, you're going to see the direct select tool will show you the rounded corners. So on any of these rounded corners, we can just drag to wherever we like. This is trial and error. You'll find something that you like, but that's about right. So with it selected, just press V and select it. Press Command C, which is copy, and then Command Shift V, which is paste in place. So you can see I've got two now. So I'm then going to rotate the top one. So I'm going to press R, and with Alt held down, so I press R, click and drag, this is rotating. But if I hold Alt, you'll see the cursor change from single to double. So get somewhere around 6 7% and let go. And now because you've duplicated that on the way on the rotate, you can press Command D and just keep pressing Command D until it fills it all in. Once you've got that, you can select the whole thing. You can take the weight down. You can even change the color of the stroke to whatever you want it to be. You can apply a gradient along the stroke, anything like that. If we go back to the start and we select and then press the width tool. I can make this bottom point a bit wider. And I'll do it the same way around. So Command C, Command Shift V, press R, drag it around and hold Alt so it duplicates. Let go somewhere there and then press Command D all the way around. And once I've got that, it's far too heavy. We can come all the way back down with the stroke weight and change it that way. Thin over there to thick over here. You can do a spirograph with a few other shapes. You can do an ellipse and basically you just draw that ellipse in the same way as you did do. Command C which is copy, Command Shift V which is paste in place. Press R, rotate it, but don't forget to hold down Alt. Get to around 7% and Command D all the way around. This will give you a different spirograph effect. You can actually even do it with the rectangle tool if you're that way inclined. So rectangle tool, command C, command shift V, paste in place. Then press your rotate, rotate it around, hold alt so it duplicates it. I'll go for a big one this time. And then command D all the way around. Looks a bit different. So there's loads of different shapes you can play with. Rounded corners, um, square corners, the weight, all that kind of thing. So if that was helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.